Welcome to Math Soul. In this video, we are going to see how to simplify algebraic fractions by cancelling common factors. Let's start with an example which is x squared plus 8x over 4x. Yeah, that cancelling the common factors. So only we can cancel if they are in a division relation. Right? So we can't cancel like here with this and many students do this mistake. So they just try to cancel here. But you have to understand that 4x is for x squared. Is this 4x is for both, right? So instead of canceling like that, what we need to do? We need to create the division only, then we can cancel. Because cancellation is only happening with the numerator with the denominator, right? So what we can do, we can just try to see, okay, what is the common factor between x squared and 8x? And you can say x is the common factor. So x left plus 8. So you can say x times x is x squared, x times a is 8 is 8x. So now you are allowed to cancel on this and this because this is, you have to consider this whole part is a one, one, uh, one element. So, so you can't cancel this one with this, but there's a times before the break. We don't need to put the times, but you know that that x is a times relation. So this time, so it's a time x times this and this is division. So it means it's like something a times b over c. So then you can cancel anything because these are the times relation. So anything you can cancel with the numerator and the denominator. So that's what we are doing now. So x and x you can cancel. Then you can see we have what left. We have x plus 8 on the top and we can have 4 left. So you can't, you can't just cancel as I said. You can't cancel because that 4 is shared for both. So you can't just cancel 4 for 8. So this is the final answer. There is nothing common between numerator and denominator now. Look at another example. If it is, uh, just write down here, 6 minus 18x over 2. And probably we are multiplying with 5, 1 minus 3x. What you can do here? Um, there is nothing common here we can and but here you can say 6 and 18x 6 can take common so if you take 6 common you have 1 left minus 3x you see so 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 3x is 18x and we have minus in between then divide by 2 if you multiply and then you see 5 and this one if you want to factorize yes you can you know that 1 is the common factor 1 minus 3x uh, usually we don't put 1, you know that if you just put like that, then we know that 1 in the times relation. And so, or you can just put 1 to show that it, yeah, yeah, it is a times relation. As I said, without times relation, you can't do any cancellation. So, okay, why not just putting then 1? 1 times 1 minus 3x, because 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3x is 3x, it's the same thing. So, but we are creating the times relation so that we are allowed to do the cancellation. And now, anything from the numerator can cancel can be cancelled with the denominator so what we can do now you can see that 2 and 6 you can make it 3 and it's a times relation so you can cancel yes 3 and then 1 minus x 1 minus 3x you can cancel with 1 minus 3x because 1 minus 3x as i said is a we whatever is a, in a group we are considering as a single element so that single element doesn't matter what is inside it's a minus, but here is the same thing. So 1 minus 3x is a 1 element. Exactly the same element is here, 1 minus 3x. And then we can cancel each other. So what now we can see in the numerator, we have nothing, just 1 left. So usually if it's a 1, we don't need to write down. So what we have there, 5 times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. So 15 is the answer for this uh, algebraic fraction after uh, simplifying. Now, Look at another example. If we have 18 uh, minus x over, uh, I can say 3x minus 1 and then divided by 2x minus 36 over 7 minus 21x. What we can do in this case? And you know, again, it's a fractional division. You know that if there is a division, you need to times you need to convert or you need to uh, change it to times and then flip that second fraction so we are doing the same principle what we did for arithmetic fraction so now we can just write in okay 18 that's the, our first job to convert that to division to times 
3x minus 1 and if you times it your numerator will be down here like 2x minus 36 and your denominator will go as a numerator 21x so 7 minus 21x I am just putting in the top. Now, now we have to look anything common that we can see here nothing okay how about how about we can just write like okay, 18 minus x whatever we have here 3x minus 1 we can't do anything common but if you see this part uh, it is if you take 7 common then it would be 1 minus 3x and if you take 2 common then x minus 18 okay if you look this clear uh, correct like you see 1 minus 3x and this is 3x minus 1 so we can see something closer only the sign is different plus 3x minus 3x minus 1 plus 1 how to make this same if you um, okay maybe I can do one more step to show that or I uh, because we have already this I can do factorizing here I can just take minus 1 as a common factor then it would be minus 3x plus 1 or we can say 1 minus 3x okay how I got it because minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 what we have uh, sorry uh, yeah so minus 1 times 1 is a minus 1 what we have here then minus 1 times of minus 3x which is plus 3x so plus 3x so 3x minus 1 we can factorize like that if you take minus out then we can the change the sign will be changed here so similar way if you want to change the sign you can just take minus 1 common then it would be x minus 18 or if you want yeah so you can just write an x minus 18 I'm just changing I'm just putting the different order that's fine as long as it is negative x and positive 18 so negative x positive 18 so negative x and positive 18 so which order you are writing is not important but here I'm writing this order because I want to see exactly the same thing we are getting there so that we can cancel with that one so you can see here x minus 18 was there so that's why I'm writing x minus 8 so if you write down minus 18 plus x it's the same thing but I'm just to see that it's, it's exactly the same thing that's why I'm writing that order 1 minus 3x so 1 minus 3x 1 minus 3x cancel x minus 18 x minus 18 cancel uh, minus 1 minus 1 cancel so there is no minus in the system anymore uh, so what is happening here so nothing is there and uh, nothing is there only 7 over 2 we always write down the answer in the uh, the fractional form don't write in the decimal for algebra because the fraction form is the exact form or you can maximum do the conversion if you want do the mixed number so it is you know that 2 it's a long division 2 times 3 which is 6 then 1 remainder so 1 over 2 so 3 whole number 1 over 2 so now I am going to leave two questions for the students to answer the first question would be 2x minus 4x square over 2x so how to simplify it and second question would be t minus 1 over 9 divided by 1 minus t over 3 so I believe if you guys understand the whole lesson you guys can answer these two questions and if you feel any difficulties write down in the comment box but I will uh, advise you guys to go back and forth just listen the uh, video again and again then it, you will understand and do more more practice thanks for watching these videos